Here's this week's My Boat feature. Battery systems are something that you don't often think about when they're working well, but when they go wrong, it can be catastrophic for boating. So this week for My Boat, we're gonna upgrade the mishmash of flooded batteries and AGM on this Sea Ray with advanced AGM battery from Odyssey. And Bruce Essig joins me. Thanks for coming Steve, up, Bruce. Thank you. So first of all, just what makes this advanced versus a regular AGM? Okay, so, our old-fashioned lead-acid battery here, flooded, sulfuric acid, openly vented, have to add water periodically. Then they move forward into a more sealed design called absorbed glass mat. So they try to seal up the battery uh, as much as possible. And it might still have a vent port here, so there might still be some amount of gassing. And then the movement into advanced pure lead. So we refer this as a thin plate pure lead battery. We're using highly purified lead, no alloys, no additional materials. So that allows us to build a battery that's dual purpose. So this can be a great starting battery and a great deep cycle battery. Totally sealed, no gassing. But that means they're heavy. The old batteries are in the 50 to 60 pound range. These are just shy of 80 pounds, but with the same footprint, so the same trays and cables will work. In the past, when you had wet flooded batteries, they had to try to locate batteries in an area where you, they had accessibility because you had to water them, you had to clean the terminals, they required routine maintenance. So, you know, this is a fairly open area, but now with the Odyssey, we're still in the same location, but you know, this new installation is a little bit more permanent because of the fact that you, know, you don't need to go down there to pull them out in the fall and put them back in. Um, so now you can set them up a little bit more permanently and they are truly maintenance free. Which is awesome. As long as the batteries are fully charged, all you have to do is disconnect the negative cable and you can leave them in. Colder is actually better in terms of their chemistry. Because the weight is higher, you run the risk of listing with all the extra weight. So in this setup, we're going to move the two inverter batteries into this space on the starboard side. And even though it's an awkward spot, they don't need to come out, so that's not really an issue. It does mean cutting new marine grade cable and securing new terminal ends though. A heavy duty crimper is a lifesaver if that's available to you. And don't forget to shrink tube or tape it. After connecting the two batteries' positive and negative terminals, I could make use of Sea Ray's runway of cables to keep things tidy and secure. Bruce told me about the heavy-duty history of these batteries as I tightened the zip ties and cleaned up the long cables for the inverter and secured the tie-downs on the batteries, and then connected the inverter to the new batteries. Odyssey kind of got started more in the commercial industrial side, so city transit buses, over-the-road trucks, police cars, ambulance, fire trucks. And it takes time for those trends to kind of move along. And in terms of trend setting, Parabo TV sets the trends from swanky blue shirts to batteries. So, Adorian, I got you covered. Well, I, I, again, I think that's a great installation. Hey. Uh, you know, done well. Yes. And, and so it's good. I'll take that. 